The Class 350 from Backman has always been a popular choice for contemporary modelers. Let's take a closer look to see why. Okay, so here it is, the uh, Class 350 four car EMU set from Backman. Um, it's a sizable box. Uh, the particular unit we're going to be looking at today is the 31031. Uh, this is the De Zero, so called De Zero uh, Class 350, and it's in the uh, London Midland livery, uh, which is actually a livery I quite like. Um, there's a number of variants of this, and there's a number of other liveries as well that this has been available in. Uh, so this is it. Uh, it uh, already looks pretty good and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, this I purchased pre-installed with Olivia Sound um, in, in the unit. Um, really, I, I, you know, I could it comes available uh, DCC ready, 21 pin DCC ready, and you only need a single controller on it uh, because it's a centralized motorized unit and, uh, and the way the the power and control goes to the other coaches. You only actually need one DCC decoder in this, um, which, which is actually pretty good. Um, so this is it. Um, what we're going to do next is get the, uh, the different cars out of the box and let's go look at the next level of detail here. Okay, we've got everything out of the box and uh, let's just take a look through this. And before we look at the cars, let's just look at the other bits and pieces we get. Um, there is a detailing kit here. Uh, now this does include the banking plate for the 21 pin DCC because as I say sound has been installed in this locomotive. Uh, the, detail, the detailing kit doesn't do a lot for you. Uh, there's a couple of skirts there uh, that you can uh, assemble. Uh, and then there's these uh, close coupling kind of assemblies in here, but these are only for a static display. Unfortunately, they don't won't work with a running model. so. There isn't an awful lot from a detailing kit perspective, but uh, you do you do get that. Now, the most important thing you get in this kit uh, are these little plugs, uh, the interconnectors between uh, the coaches, uh, the different modules of the EMU. And these have electrical connections on either side, as you can see there. And they need to be installed facing up as they are here. And they'll pick up then on the uh, connectors on each of the coaches, you'll get the pickup. And this is really important. If you don't do this, uh, the lights won't work on the unit, so um, so really important that you c connect these correctly. Uh, you get four in the bag, you only need three uh, to interconnect the four coaches, uh, so they effectively give you a spare. And so uh, look after those, uh, they, they will be important for you. Now the documentation that we get um, is pretty basic, uh, so uh, you, you're really just getting some uh, a single sheet here uh, which talks about uh, installing, for example, the DCC decoder, and uh, that can be done very simply. There's a plate underneath the uh, the, the third uh, car, or the C car, as it would be in the running order, uh, the, which is the power car, and that's where you can actually install your decoder and your sound module in there. Uh, so that's that's pretty useful. If you're not using it on on DCC, uh, there's options to uh, turn the cab lights on and off as a, a, if a switch in the roof. Um, of one of the cabs, so you can actually do that there. So this really isn't a lot in here. Um, a breakdown of the piece parts, the usual thing that you would get. And uh, we'll see the pantograph later on, that's on the power car, so we'll actually take a look at that a little bit later on. So not an awful lot here. Um, I do have some documentation associated with the sound module, Olivia Sound, uh, but that's not, not part of the standard offering. So let's get a look at the, the set itself. So the set comes, as I mentioned, as a 21 pin DCC ready. Uh, it's a four car EMU set. And so the third car, which is this one here, uh, is the driving car. So this, this is, you, you know, straight away you'll know by its weight. Uh, this, this is the one that actually contains the, uh, the motor and the pantograph. So we might take a look at this guy first. We'll just take him out of the, uh, the box here. Now, a thing to notice here, and I'll just point it out before we go any further. Um, the boxes are actually specific to the particular cars and the way you can tell which box to use which this type of shell package the inner shell is really by the detail on the roof um, so this one here has got the wide section here and these two small pieces here corresponding to the detail on this particular 
uh, CodeChimp are part of the EMU. Um, there are three different layouts like that, so you'll, you'll end up with um, the front and back cars are the same, the middle car is different, and this one is different. Uh, so when you're putting this back together again, if you're taking it off your layout and putting it back together again, just watch out for that because otherwise, um, if for example you, you don't have the right opening here, you could damage the pantograph, for example, that's something you wouldn't want to do. Okay, just a small thing, it's not mentioned anywhere in the documentation, but you uh, I, it just I want to note it to you if you want to avoid damaging your, uh, your unit. So let's just get this out of the way and we'll take a look at the, the car itself. Okay, let's we'll take the first look and then we'll We'll take all of them out. So look at that, isn't that magnificent? Um, I really like this livery actually. Um, and uh, there's our pantograph, we'll, uh, we'll play with them later on. Uh, so really lovely weight in this, uh, in this driving car. Uh, it's got tinted windows, very nice paint job. Uh, really just out of the box, it's looking absolutely fantastic. So um, a great feel to it. So um, this, this looks really good. Uh, look at a lot of detail there on the underside. Uh, that's really good detail. And here is the, um, this is where the DCC has been fitted and I can actually see the speaker inside there uh, that was fitted to this unit. I, did, I, did, I got it pre-fitted. Um, uh, I didn't want to go through, um, well, it's not actually too painful because you can install it there, but uh, I just left that up to other people to do it for me. Um, yeah, this looks, this looks really good. Um, and these are the driving bogey. I can see that this is the these wheels are the driving bogey, and this is just a pickup bogey. So there's only one driving bogey in the in, in the whole set. Uh, so we'll see how that actually performs when we go on the layout. We do pick up we power pickups there on, on that one. Okay, I think uh, what I'm going to do now is actually just break for two seconds. Uh, we'll take all of these guys out of their uh, their shells and we'll start taking a, a more detailed look. Okay, talk to you in a minute. Okay, we've got these uh, coaches out of the box now, the, uh, the four elements of the EMU. Um, underneath, they're actually lettered, uh, so you've got a letter here, A, um, and they go B, C, and D, and they need to be connected that way uh, when you put them on your, on your layout uh, to make sure that the lights work properly. Um, the actual couplings between these are powered, so there's, uh, there's an electrical coupling um, that runs between each of the coaches. You can probably just about um, see the contacts there. And um, they would, there's a coupling between them and they say you, if you don't connect them A, B, C, D, uh, the lighting won't work correctly in all the coaches. So just that's um, something to watch out for when you're actually putting them on the layout. So we'll take, um, we'll start with, I suppose, car number A. And let's just take a look at this guy uh, and in terms of some of the detail. So these are very nice co coaches. I like the livery actually. This is my favorite livery, the London Midland livery. A very nice, um, and there's a nice uh, paint job here done on it. It's quite a complex paint job as you can see with the detail around the doors, the front. Uh, there's a lot in there. Um, uh, you've got some nice, nice detail around the door handle there, the labels. Um, up at the front here, uh, the lighting, and we'll see the lighting when we put this on the layout. We'll see the those different lights coming on. You've got directional lights down here, and then you'll also have lights in the cab uh, when uh, when we put the power on. Uh, so they're very good. Uh, there's nice detailed wipers. They're quite detailed, um, and uh, really, that's a, it's quite a nice level of detail overall uh, on, on on the body, on the roof again. Um, a nice level of detailing here. A nice fitted piece here, uh, which gives a, a bit of detail, uh, added detail. Um, the doors at the back, uh, pretty straightforward, a nice couple of labels there on the side. And then let's take a look underneath, and I suppose this is where uh, you get another level of detailing again, and it is quite nice, there's a nice detailing on that bogey there. Uh, you've got the sanders there, uh, feeding sand as required. It's a nice detail here in terms of the, uh, the various cylinders and piping going on down here. Uh, so this is all in all, a, a nicely detailed coach and um, a very attractive coach. Um, this is one of the end coaches, obviously. Um, so overall, very pleased with this. This this looks really nice. Um, looking forward to seeing how this performs on the, on, on the layout, uh, as I said. And uh, there's a, just a Birmingham New Street. You might be able to see it there on the, 
the video just a very nice little sign there actually looks like a, an LED sign appearing in the window there so it's another very nice level of detail in there uh, seating inside obviously uh, no passengers pre-installed uh, which is probably a pity uh, but we are looking at a four car set here so that would be a, that would be quite a bit extra and these are large cars as well so really really pleased with this this looks really good uh, this is a nice looking uh, a nice looking uh, coach um, the next one is coach B again this is not on un unpowered um, from a, a motorized perspective it does have power pickup however and it does have the power to feed through to control the lights so uh, all of these coaches will have power pickup you'll see that on all of them they do have the pickups uh, and then there's a control signal to turn the lights on and off it seems to be the way they do it um, again same same sorts of detail on this uh, again not very nice paintwork uh, nice wind tinted windows uh, we've got a little first class label in there on, on the windows you can just hopefully see that on the, um, and um, again a very nice overall level of detail uh, some nice detail underneath uh, this one as well and this is coach number b as i mentioned so again a good very good looking coach uh, this is the power car uh, it's, it's it's number c uh, in the list so it's third in your rake uh, first off, I mean the main detail here is this um, the assembly here for the pantograph, and um, uh, this is a, a very a very nice looking uh, pantograph assembly here. Uh, a nice a nice again a very nice level of detail uh, on the pantograph, and um, that certainly looks um, that looks very good indeed. So again, same level of do uh, detail around the doors here. A nice handicap sign on that particular door. Uh, this is much heavier obviously this is the power car uh, it's only powered from one side so uh, this is the power bogey here and uh, the speaker is in this area here it's been installed um, and I say this is a uh, it's quite a weighty um, car actually you know there's a bit of weight here certainly it's, it's as heavy as a, a normal locomotive um, a lot of a lot of extra detail here I suppose it is the power car and uh, so you're seeing more detail underneath the underside here and uh, overall the same I suppose look and feel as we have across the the rest of the cars so generally again very very nice looking car I say nice nice weight in this and uh, that should give us some good running performance on the on the layout and then the last one number D um, again same pretty well as the A car uh, same sort of detailing from a lighting and uh, cab perspective um, and so we'll see again we'll see the lights here come up and those lights actually will illuminate behind the, the kind of numbering that you have there um, and again overall an excellent level of detail through the through the coach and again the Birmingham uh, New Street little LED sign at the end there um, and same sort of detailing on the roof uh, the end ones have a, an extra little piece here fitted on, on these so again, this is um, it's an attractive, it's an attractive coach, and um, it uh, really is uh, nice. And I do like this livery, as I said. Uh, so I think the next step in this review will be to uh, to get these guys onto the layout, and uh, let's get this get this running. Uh, we'll connect up the three cars uh, with the interconnect. Uh, the DCC has been pre-installed. I purchased this set with uh, Olivia Sound. Uh, pre-installed so I didn't have to go through any of the uh, effort in, in and I won't take any credit for the sound installation uh, but we'll get to listen to that as well as part of the uh, running session that we have and that should be interesting as well because uh, uh, I do like the sound of these in real life and, uh, and it will be interesting to see how that's represented on the model okay let's uh, let's move over now and uh, to our running session okay we're just uh, starting up the motor here uh, we've already turned on the lights uh, and these lights actually there's a single control for the lights and it turns on the lights all of the directional lights cab lighting and coach lighting in one go uh, you can't quite see the coach lighting yet but you will start to see it a bit more during the running session uh, so there is a, a kind of a long startup sequence here while the uh, uh, the motor charges up it is electric and uh, it's kind of replicating the uh, prototype uh, we'll be underway in just a couple of seconds now the doors are closing Uh, we should get the horn that we're just going to leave and we'll be on our way 
So this, uh, if you've ever heard a class 350, you'll know that it's got a very distinctive sound. Um, as many people have described it, something close to a flying saucer, which is uh, quite interesting. Uh, but uh, very distinctive, and it's very much the real life sound. So um, we'll get on our way pretty quickly here now. Get up to speed. So we've got uh, some good rail track sounding going on there. Overall, the sound effects from Olivia sound are very good, and uh, I kind of recognise that in, uh, as a kind of a separate entity. Obviously, there op it's an optional sound module for this, but I do believe it's a very good one. It really does give a very good job. So you can see the rear lighting there as well. And you can probably just start to see, yeah, you can start to see the coach lighting effect there. I'll run this in, in a darkened section just for a little bit so you can get to see the lighting a bit more. You can see them there in the dark, but uh, I will turn down the lights so that you'll get a better view. Uh, we'll speed this up pretty quickly. This unit does like to be run fast, and it, and it does run pretty fast, very smooth, as you can probably see. A lot of power in that motor. It's, I know there's only one, one of the, only one of the bogies actually flying power, but uh, it is a, certainly a powerful motor in there, and it seems to be able to drive uh, this very effectively, as you can start to see now as we speed things up. And uh, I don't think it'd have any problems if uh, there was additional cars available to extend the size of this up to say like an eight-car unit. And we're pretty close to top speed now at this stage. Absolutely really good runner, no problems at all. Um, and uh, you know, I've, I've never had any issues with this. Now you're seeing the lights a little bit more now. We've turned down the ambient lighting. And uh, uh, it looks, uh, looks pretty effective, I think. The, the directional lights are nice and bright. Uh, probably a degree more brightness probably would be okay for the cab lights. But um, still very good to get a unit like this with uh, coach lighting throughout the four cars of the unit, which is, uh, is good. And getting that out of the box. So that's pretty well the end of our running session. Hopefully it's given you a feel for what this uh, EMU can perform. Uh, very smooth as I said, and um, it's a great pleasure to actually uh, to, to run this on your layout. So let's take a look at a summary uh, for this EMU. Uh, so the unit we've looked at today is the Class 350-2, the four car EMU in the London Midland livery. And this comes as a 21 pin DCC ready out of the box. In the case of the review here, we have Olivia Sound installed. It does have extra features in terms of directional lighting, uh, the cab and coach lighting, uh, and a retractable pantograph. Selling price typically in the range of anything from 120 to 199. It's not available through many of the retail channels uh, at this point in time. If you're buying it from a retail channel, you'll tend to be paying the upper end of that. In general, you may have to go to eBay to get this now, and that it does exclude the sound, so the sound is extra. So the scorecard for today, I'm giving this a four and a half hour on performance. I uh, found the EMU very worked very well over DC and DCC. And as you'll have seen some the, from the running session, uh, it does have quite a good speed to it and also good performance over uh, various uh, track configurations. And even though it was only powered from one bogey, which is uh, probably a little bit unusual, uh, it did have power pickup from all the bogies for the lighting. Uh, so the lighting is always very steady and uh, certainly uh, the fact that it's only been driven by one bogey doesn't appear to have hampered the performance in any way so a good four and a half star there i think the appearance is really good really pleased about it i do like the livery a lot of good detail in here uh, i think the only kind of drawback i suppose was was with the uh, 
uh, with the lights on in a dark environment and you do see the uh, leakage of light through the, the paintwork. But given that it is a, a, a lighting fitted coach from day one, just a little bit disappointed that Backman didn't take the extra effort to make sure you didn't get the leakage like that through the plastic uh, of, of the frame. So um, taking a little bit off for that, but overall, um, you know, a very, very good from a detail and appearance perspective. Uh, the extra features, I say the lighting is, is good overall. Um, both the directional lighting and the cab lighting and the uh, coach lighting across all four coaches so that's always good to have that there's a nice pantograph feature as well uh, which can be retracted easily uh, so uh, so scoring three there again as i say the um, the, the little drawback uh, we had is really around the uh, that that light leakage um, and the other i suppose overall uh, issue i suppose i would have had there's probably two main things that i, I would have take issue with with this unit uh, the other is when you're actually trying to remove it from the layout you do have to actually go and uh, uh, to kind of measures you have to literally turn it on its side to be able to get access to the plugs underneath to actually uh, disconnect the coaches from each other you don't really have to do that when you're installing it f from day one on the layout but when you're actually trying to get it off the layout you need to get a little bit of the pliers in there and the only way you'll really get it at the right angle is by actually uh, tilting over the coaches and putting them resting on something uh, soft so that you can actually remove them so a little bit of a drawback you know I, again it's uh, wouldn't encourage you to be taking it on and off the layout that much to be honest just with that little bit of extra work packaging and documentation is good and uh, overall a four and a half star so despite those little quirks I'm giving it a, a, a very high score and highly recommending it. Um, it's a joy to uh, to use this on the layout. Uh, you get a lot of fun with it. It's a very nice, complete four-car set with lighting, uh, which is great to have. It's got a nice, powerful motor in there, uh, which gives you good performance. And um, and when you couple it with the Olivia sound in this case, and I'm giving that a four and a half star. Um, it really is a, a compelling combination and a very enjoyable experience to uh, be running this on, on, on your layout. So, but even without the sound, it is a very nice unit to have, and uh, I would highly recommend it. So that's um, that's the re review for today. I hope you enjoyed this review of the 350. It's been coming for a while. Uh, as I say, this is one of my favourite EMUs, without a doubt, and in a, in a very uh, one of my favourite liveries. I would highly recommend it. Uh, if you've enjoyed the review today, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, it's one of the ways I use to uh, to measure people's interests in terms of particular classes of locomotive, etc. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the channel again in the very near future. Lots of more reviews coming up. Uh, so if you're not a, a subscriber, please uh, hit the subscribe button as well and uh, the notify button and uh, you'll get word of, um, of those upcoming reviews. OK, so thank you for watching today and uh, we'll see you on another video. Bye for now. Thank you.